Pergil. Ahsoka admits that Sabine willingly went with the enemy, and Hu Yang suggests that it might have been the only choice Sabine had. Ahsoka asks Hu Yang to distract her by telling one of the old Jedi stories he has in his arsenal, and he does so complete with the a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away line. Sabina wakes up Cap Turid in Morgan's ship and speaks with Balan about the deal to reunite her with Ezra, but he refuses. Morgan's ship exits hyperspace and arrive at Paradea, the home planet of the Dathomirian, which Thrawn was previously banished to. Morgan, Balin, Shin, and Sabine are taken in a dropship to the planet's surface, where several other Night Sisters meet with them. The Night Sisters detect that Sabine is a Jedi and force her into solitude. Balin continues to be amazed that this alternate galaxy even exists, and he and Shin talk about the old stories he previously heard about it, and whether or not the alliance with Thrawn can help make them real. Sabine uses the Force to try to escape her prison cell, but gets distracted by the arrival of Thrawn's ship, which is flanked by Enoch and a battalion of night troopers. Thrawn thanks Morgan for helping to free him, and is surprised to learn that Sabine has been brought as prisoner, but thinks she'll be of great use to him. Sabine is brought to him and he frees her of her restraints, agreeing to give her passage to find Ezra, but acknowledging that their fates might end badly. She takes him up on his offer and gets a howler to search the planet and find Ezra on her own. Thrawn promises that Balin and Shin will get a chance to kill Sabine and Ezra if they are reunited. Midway through her journey, Sabine gets attacked by bandits and her howler briefly abandons her. Sabine continue to navigate, running into a group of small hermit crab-like alien known as the Noti. One recognizes the symbol on Sabine's armor and indicate that they know Ezra and lead her towards him. They end up in a village filled with more Noti and Ezra, who now has a full beard. They embrace and Ezra expresses how excited he is to return home. Meanwhile, Balin explains Ezra's history to Shin and suggests that the two of them should stay behind. Bandits approach. The Night Sisters detect Ahsoka's ship is drawing closer, and although Morgan initially refuses to believe she's alive, Thrawn takes this as an opportunity to take Ahsoka down and asks for dark magic to help him. Hope you have liked the video. Do share your comments. Thanks for watching.